weekend. Let's see what's happening. Um, well, I am. I am not in the car. Um, so, I guess, I'm, I guess I'm still alive. I apologize for the uh, for the mishap here. Uh, hopefully, you guys uh, join back in. Hopefully, guys will join back in here. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you're right. It is a gremlin. Uh, I'm gonna eat something here again, quick. I don't, I don't know why all of a sudden I got. Uh, maybe it's just gradually going down, and I didn't notice it. I don't know. But I'm going to eat some of my carp filet from yesterday. It looks like I have gotten sick. So I am going to take some vitamins and some tetra pills. There's the vitamins. Let's pop some of those. There they are. There they are. Alright. Alright. Now that we were uh, so rudely interrupted. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this again. <laughs> oh boy. I'm nervous. There we go. All right. Well, it worked this time. <laughs> it worked this time. Let's go get some water. Let's, let's see if this will work. I'm sorry. This is probably super loud for you guys. Hopefully, you'll be able to overhear me. Did you hear me sneeze? Come on, pills work. Make me feel better. We'll take a little drive down to the watering hole. When we're down there, we're probably going to attract some zombies, so uh, I'll run them all over. Is it fine? Okay, good. I did adjust it a little bit yesterday, so uh, I was hoping that that worked out. All right. Here's the police station again. So every time I go by these things, I'll probably point them out. Um, I, hopefully it doesn't get a little uh, redundant on you guys, but I really want everybody to see uh, some of these points of interest uh, and make sure they're able to get to them and, and uh, recognize what they all look like. So I can't believe I didn't run into any zombies on the way down here. Must be too early in the morning for him to get up, huh? Alright, let's get that jerry can out. And I got a water bottle in here, too, so I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna fill that pot full of water, too, if I can. Show you guys how to do that. Oh, we're gonna fill this jerry can. And you'll see that, you'll, you'll see that in that little, uh... The wheel. It takes a while to fill this thing. Remember, uh, if you're on an official server or uh, a community server that uh, promotes PvP, you always want to keep your head in a swivel.
you never know. You never know when uh, somebody's sneaking up behind you. So we're filling the jerry can and it is filling up really slow. All right. Hey, Dina, how you doing? I must have missed. Did I? Did I miss? Uh... Did I miss somebody coming in? I can't see uh, when somebody comes in or not. <laughs> Good. Oh, sitting at your sitting in your office. All right. All right. I see. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully everything's going good for you, Dina. And I've never tried using a cooking pot in there before. Uh, so I'm going to actually try this. See if it'll prompt me to fill it. Yep, it does. See? So you can take a cooking pot and you can fill your cooking pot with water. Uh, right out of the fountain. All right. So I'm going to put that in here. No, I wouldn't recommend doing that in real life because you probably any turn or bump, you're probably gonna tip that that uh, cooking pot over. But uh, this is Daisy, and if we all know Daisy, even if you don't know Daisy, you will real soon from it. Things don't always go as planned. <laughs> head back to the base and we're gonna see how many plants we can water with all this you know I went in there and then I got all that water out of the, all that stuff and then I forgot to fill my canteen up too boy I'm a maroon ain't I <laughs> That's all right. We will, uh, boy, that was an unfortunate thing that happened there when we, uh, when our screen went black. I really apologize about having to restart that stream. Be a, it'd be a good thing if you'd at least uh, bring the jerry can with you, right? Getting too excited to water my plants. Isn't that funny? I had to do that last night. It's been pretty warm out where I'm at. So. Look at that. Yep. We can, we can water the plants. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right. So you can use a jerry can to water your plants if you need to. That is actually really helpful because uh, using a canteen or the water bottle, you know, in your uh, far distance away like I was, you know, if I had to run all that, 
That wouldn't be so much fun. And I bet you I could probably... If you can see in the bottom, at the bottom left, you can see I get quite a bit of water left in that jerry can. Even still. Usually you only get maybe three three plants uh, a bot for a bottle or a canteen. Three or four plants or something like that. And uh, Boy, I, I've been planting quite a bit and it looks like it hasn't even moved. Or I've been watering quite a bit, not planting quite a bit. Uh, probably would have helped in the... Uh, I wouldn't have been dumping my water out as a canteen. I would have been able to do a couple more, but... Sometimes the, sometimes the prompting kind of looks the same. <laughs> I forget whether it's in the bottom left or up above. So we'll get these pumpkin plants uh, watered. There we go. Did I set any over here? No, I didn't think I did. We'll put the water back in here. Since we did not need the water in the cooking pot. Oh, look. I can drink the water in the cooking pot. That's cool. So, let's... let's we're gonna, remember what I said before. If you stare straight down to the ground, it'll change it to empty. So, I'm going to empty this cooking pot. I want to check something quick. And then you guys can look with me. Maybe you guys already know this. I don't know. I don't know it. So, I want to check it. I'll drink this last little bit. There we go. I set that down. I'm going to get this jerry can out. Look at that. I barely used any water. We, that was awesome. All right. So it looks like I can pour. So it seems to me I am pouring. It's, it's not. I think I'm pouring it into the cooking pot. I hope I am. It looks like I am. You see it's filling up with water. You can see it. Yeah. Oh, so... Look at that. So then you can do it again. Oh, well. That didn't go so well, did it? Switch to pour. Switch to drain. Okay. Well, <laughs> I think it's just draining... I think it's just pouring it out of the jerry can. Alright, so now we got a cooking pot full of water. Alright. I'm actually, I'm just going to put this maybe in the car tent if I can get to it. All right, I think the car is in the way. I'm just gonna put this in this uh, barrel for now. All right, and we have to find a stove. I wonder if I had a cooking stove in there. Okay, right on. Got you, Misfits. Thank you. No. See, I do have a frying pan, so I'll show that too. But, uh, 
It does not look like I have. This is where I store all the stuff like that that, that goes to these gas canisters. So. Doesn't look like I got the gas stove in here. Alright. How's this peeled potato look? Oh, that, okay, it's dried, so that's good. Although it is badly damaged. So, what do you guys want to do? I think... I think we should try to do a little bit of... Maybe we'll do some basic, uh, basic base building. Um, maybe I'll show you a little bit about a wall. Um, making the, uh, the fenced wall. But in order to do that, we're going to have to go and get some materials. So I am going to jump in our truck. And I, I know, you know, uh, if you're just starting out in the server, more than likely you're probably not going to have this truck to go and get supplies. But uh, it is going to be a little bit easier for me to run and go get some with this. think so what we're gonna do here is uh I'm gonna come up here into the woods a little bit I think I missed the fence I think there's a fence right there that's why I kind of went around to get up into this field We're starting to gain some speed up. Luckily enough, this truck, uh, it does have the power to come up in through the trees and uh, in the woods like this. I don't think I would be able to make it uh, with any of the other vehicles up through here. It It is possible if I uh, maybe went a little bit more speed, but usually, usually it's a no-go. Yeah, see, there's a little fence right there, uh, rock fence, blocking my way. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I am going to move out of the little bit farther away. So something that happened once before uh, when I I was doing this, I went here and I chopped a tree down and it landed on the truck. And when I got in the truck, because the tree was in there, it, everything glitched and it caused me to die. So I didn't want the tree to fall down on my truck again. All right, I should have had... I do, there we go. So we got ourselves a splitting axe. And it, this is a larger tree. See, if you go with a, a smaller tree, you chop a smaller tree down, um, what you get out of it usually is some uh, logs and a long stick and maybe sometimes some short sticks. So we got... See, we got firewood. So these are the small logs and... Uh, they, they call this firewood, is what they call it. And then you get some long sticks. 
So all of that is good for uh, making a fire, but you know we're not going to get any planks out of it, and we're not going to be able to get any uh, logs out of it. So you want to go to these bigger ones, these great big trees like this. And we're going to cut this big one out. We're gonna we're gonna uh, George Washington this. So we're gonna chop down. It's not a cherry tree, but you know it is chopping. Let's see. see? Wasn't that just about right where I was going to park my truck? Man, I'm glad I moved it. Alright, so now we got wooden logs. And we got two wooden logs out of it. So I'm going to put one in my hands. We're going to walk this back to the truck. And you can't dash with it. Uh, this, this is the speed you're going to go. <laughs> now, one of the cool things... Uh, can do with these trucks is you can point it at the back of the truck and you can attach it in there so then you don't have to open the inventory and then try to scroll down and and put it in the material slot you can just add it right to the back of the truck it, uh, that was one of the things it took me a little bit I didn't realize it right away and uh, so when I found that out I was like oh man that was so great because <clears throat> before, see, I was having to go like this, and then you open your inventory, you gotta try to go like, and get it on here, scrolling around, and then adding it. So you can add it that way, you can add it manually like that. But I think it's so much easier if you just come right here, and you can pull it out of there too. See, you can, if I had to hold the uh, X button, I would be able to pull it out of there. So that's very cool for that. So let's go let's find another big tree. Let's, let's cut down a, quite a few things here because we'll need we'll need a lot of wood. For that. But uh, anyway, I did want to just show you that just so that you knew. So I don't think it see this is kind of a medium sized tree. I don't know what let's see what we're going to get out of it. Maybe we'll get one wooden log. Yeah, see, we, at least we got one, right? We got one wooden log here. I better pick my axe back up. Let's walk that back. And if you'll notice, we're going to attach that like that. But I'm going to go back into the inventory and I'm going to show you this. You can hold 50 of those logs like that. And then you can have 100 planks and 40 pieces of metal. So it holds a lot. It holds a lot. Here's another big tree. See, there's some other big, bigger trees too. They're, so those will probably drop like one one log for you each but these really big ones like this these will get you two sometimes it's one um i have seen some that drop three and that's awesome um, but i couldn't tell you whether that is uh you know which specific tree or, or if it was even maybe a glitch or something but uh And I'm going to show you a little something, too, on the fly here. <clears throat> With that next next uh, log that's sitting there. We're going to attach that. Alright. So here's a wooden log. Um, let's see if it'll prompt me to be able to do this. So, see where it, it prompts? It says, saw wooden log. So let's saw that and let's see what happens. There we go. See, so it, so you saw the wooden log and it turns into more firewood for you. Okay. So 
So let's go and we're gonna cut we're gonna cut one more tree down since we're right here. Wow. Wow, did you see that? Okay, so those trees just dropped me three wooden logs. One of those big pines like that. Oh, look, I'm already into the red. I better eat something. As soon as I get this log up there, I'll eat. See how I'm losing health? Uh, my, my, my cross is, is starting to go down. The chevron's going down on the cross. I'm losing health because I'm in the red. My uh, eating is in the red. It's basically telling me I'm starving to death. Hey, Patty Roller, what's up, man? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping back by. Hey, I'm kind of getting into some uh, base building. You were asking about that yesterday. <clears throat> I was hoping you were going to stop back. I got, uh, I got this going. Why did it do that? I was looking at this and it looked like there was something on there and I thought, I know I pulled that, I know I pulled that fish off of there yesterday. Somehow it, uh, threw, threw a pear into my, uh, on my sharpened stick. Oh yes, I did do some farming. Um, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do some more again. Uh, I'll plant some stuff for you. I, I did go over it. I did go over it. Uh, Patty, Patty Roller, this is the infamous misfits that uh, that I'm gonna, you know, I talk about in some of my stories. Uh, oh, thanks, misfits. I will do that. I will do that. Yeah, it won't take me nothing to run back over there to uh, Misfits this place. <gasps> oh, did you guys hear it? Oh, did you hear it? We got wolves. We got wolves coming. Oh, man, I better hurry up and get... I hope they don't come while I'm trying to carry this log. <laughs> oh, we got wolves coming. Oh no. Oh, let's get that gun in our inventory. Here. Ooh, they're getting loud. Did you hear that? Let's see if I can jump. Hopefully, I can jump on top of the truck. Alright. Yeah, I want to get up on top of here because, uh. We're going to stand on the truck. Oh, yeah, here. The see? See, here they come. Here they come. Oh, sneak attacking me, huh? Huh, buddy? Holy buckets. That took three shots. Well, we might not have enough. There we go. There you go. Come here. Be me. Oh. Yeah, you didn't want none of this smoke, did you? Huh? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so our, our theory on this, uh, when they run away like that, is that we shoot the alpha male and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, come on up. Uh... Yeah, our theory with it is if it, if you shoot the alpha male, then the rest will fall, uh, run away. Whether that's actually true or not, I, I don't know, but uh, he was baiting me. He was. 
Yeah, I was trying to follow him, and if I would have been sitting on the ground, boy, those two would have had me, wouldn't they have? Jeez. All right, so I'm going to show you this real quick since we are here. We're going to skin and quarter a wolf. Uh, if you're in a pinch and you got a wolf that you just killed, you can actually uh, skin skin the wolf and uh, eat wolf meat. Um. So we're going to take this meat. Take that. And I'm actually going to take, so if you hover over here, it'll say it's a wolf pelt. So I'm actually going to take that too, if I can. Because uh, what I'll show you is, uh, I'll show you how to make a leather piece. So. And maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that with some of these here too. So I've heard that you can take uh, some guts. Or maybe not guts, maybe it was, is this... That's bones, yes. So you take guts. And I've heard that if you take the guts... Ugh, I do not want to eat the guts. I'm glad I looked at that. Uh, I thought if you... I've heard if you take the guts and combine guts, you can make rope. But it looks like... Oh, there we go. Craft rope. There we go. See, we're now we're holding it. You gotta put the knife in your hand. Yep. Yeah, you just gotta cook it first. So look at that. I turned some guts into rope. I thought before they said you had to put a couple of them together, but maybe maybe they've changed that. So oh, I'll just I'll craft a couple pieces of rope. Just for uh just for some funsies. Yeah, you just take the knife in your hand and uh and look at the pile of guts, and then you should be able to craft it. So. Alright. So we have that wolf belt. We got let's go get our other uh log. Oh that I thought it looked like a log. I was like, what? I don't remember dropping it there. That and there is our log right there. Oh yeah, bear. You can you can also skin and quarter a bear and eat bear meat too. Um, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't read what that said on there. I must, uh, what I'm reading chat with must not allow me to see, uh, explicit words. I must have the explicit turned off on the, uh, screen I can, that I'm looking at. All right, so let's get going. I'm going to drive this truck right over to Misfits' house uh, so that I can hurry up and get the seeds. We won't need to. We won't need to run to get them now. We can use the truck. We know where they are. Yeah, that's right, Patty Roller. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and actually, you actually can eat uh, the human meat, but what happens is you get the sickness. They and it, I can't remember what sickness it is that they uh, that you get, but it, it's basically cannibalism. And so you start giggling, uh, uncontrollable giggling and stuff. Uh, it's actually really. It's actually uh, kind of funny to hear and a little bit disturbing. <laughs> uh, we had one of our players uh, somehow 
got contaminated with it and we didn't know what was going on because we were all standing there and nobody was laughing and, and we didn't realize <laughs> that she got contaminated and uh, so we all thought somebody else was laughing and then yeah well yeah so she she did end up getting another player sick with it so um, it'll it'll either it'll spread uh, by just being near you or it'll spread by uh, getting in clothes or other food or something. So yeah, you can get contaminated with that too. So you really want to be careful when you come across uh, some human meat. Yeah, yeah, we had to have... Uh... Did somebody end up uh, having to kill Hopkins? Uh... Yeah, yeah, we had to have a murder suicide go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had to have somebody murder Hopkins, and then uh, they killed themselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was sad that day. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong. I'm looking in the wrong tent, ain't I? It was in this one. Oh, I, I forgot to shut your cover, Misfits. Sorry about that. Alright, I'm gonna grab these. We'll grab these seeds right here. Okay. So I'm gonna actually put this in my inventory because... So when, when you're getting in and out of vehicles, too, you want to be careful you don't have anything in your hands. Because when you're prompting... To get in it's to hold it and that's the same as the drop button so then you'll drop whatever you're holding and then you'll like you'll be like well why isn't it working and then you get in again and you'll get in and you'll forget you'll forget what you had in your hands was dropped and then you'll end up uh forgetting and losing your weapon right there uh, i've done it before and then i've had to drive all the way back to where i was last that i think it was like a lar uh, m4 or something you know so i'm like well i don't want to lose that So on this private server, I think we have uh, four or five people that, uh, um, or any other friends that we, you know, that, that we come across, you know, uh, some of them just bought the game and, and want to see what it's like or something. Is there eight misfits? Okay. Oh, right, because of uh, uh, the other two that don't come on now. Uh, they're not on now that often. That's right. Yeah, it is. It, it's it's pretty fun. Uh, we can we can get into some uh, our own shenanigans, you know. Uh, we can have our own little uh, games or fights or whatever we want on here. It's pretty cool. All right. Oh. Oh, look at that. See, our plants are starting to get growing here. Not quite ready for picking, but they're getting there. So it does take quite a while. Uh, they were saying with the update that it was going to take a little bit extra time for uh, or changing the times that they grow. And usually uh, they would have been growing already, but they're not. Uh, they're ba they've barely grown. So let me see. We're going to start from scratch here. I'll show you. I'm going to put down another plot for you, Patty. So you can grab a shovel or a pickaxe, and that'll make it happen. So, oh, and so you can use a shovel to dig up worms too. Uh, that's something I should have done the other day when uh, when we were fishing, right? Remember that, <laughs> Patty? You were like, 
hey, did you use any bait? And I'm like, uh, I was dumb. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm only going to do it one more time, Misfit. So I, I think I should be okay. So we're seeing the bottom left there, uh, Patty. It says to choose a placement. So when I tap the R, uh, right trigger, it'll open up a menu. See how it's kind of right here. I'm not able to build. It's kind of highlighted. So when it turns white like that, that means it's buildable. And you, you can see it prompts me to build it. We're going to build the plot. There we go. So that just built the plot. And then we'll take our seeds. And you just walk up to the, to the section. See, it's kind of sectioned off into, what is it there, nine, nine little squares here. So you, you go into the, any of these little squares and you highlight in the kind of towards the center of it and it'll prompt you to plant. And as long as you get the seeds in your hand, you're going to be able to sit and plant them. So we're going to plant some seeds here. I can't believe it didn't rain yet. I, I, you know, I said the R word and it didn't rain. I, I'm amazed. <clears throat> So I'm going to put those back in the inventory and we're going to come over here. Um, so one of the other things too, I'll show you too, Patty, is we found out you can actually fill a jerry can with water and you can actually use wa uh, the jerry can to water your plants. And I thought that was pretty cool because usually you can use a water bottle in a canteen. I did, I've never tried the jerry can before. And so... Uh, I wanted to try it to see if it worked, and it does. It's pretty cool. So then we're going to water all of these. And I'm going to save these. I'm going to set leave these three. So watch this. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it with uh, the green plants. I haven't tried to do it with plants that aren't ready yet. So let's try to see if this will work. So you can hover over these and see how it says pull out. You can hold the button to pull it out. So you pull it out and then it, it becomes plant material. So I'm going to hold that. I'm going to put that in my hands. So if you're in a pinch and you don't, you, you got some rotted plants, but you don't have any water, you can pull those out and it turns into plant material. And then you can come over here to a spot where you put a seed and you can hold the right trigger. And now you're going to use that bad plant to fertilize. And it looks a little bit different. See, it's a little bit lighter color. It's not as, uh, it's not as prominent, but you can still see it. And I think you can only do it twice. Yeah. So let's see. Otherwise, you can wait for it to rain also. If you if it is raining or you, you see that it's going to start raining, uh, you don't have to water them. The rain will actually water them for you. So I'm going to grab the water bottle this time. Yeah, absolutely no problem. No problem. We want everybody to be able to survive out in the, uh, this crazy world uh, of DayZ, right? So I can water it too. So then I fertilized it and I watered it. And let's see. Let's see how fast these two grow versus these here that I all I did was watered them. And this one, I'll water this one too. I'll just water this one too. Just because it's there. So you can see I, I watered three plants and I'm uh, it looks like I'm about halfway done with the plastic water bottle. So maybe the canteen, maybe my canteen was uh, already had some missing out of it. And then when I emptied it out, I probably uh, emptied out a lot more than what I thought. So here's the other thing that I wonder if I can do. I am going to 
I'm going to use the alcohol tincture on here. I'm going to disinfect this. There we go. That, it does prompt it to drink it if with water in it. So I can drink out of a jerry can too. I just didn't want to get sick, so I wanted to wash it up. I wanted to see. I was pretty sure I could probably drink it, but I've never drank anything out of a jerry can before. That's kind of cool. Uh, so if you're in a pinch and you don't have a water bottle, but you got a jerry can, empty that sucker out of the gasoline, clean it, put some clean water in there, and uh, looks like you can use it to drink out of. It's a lot of water to hold on to, too, so that'd be cool. Um, you know what we might want to do is... Uh, I'm going to pull one of these logs out. So I noticed, I, mean, I noticed I'm getting a little low on food, and I do have a couple of cans here and there sitting around, but uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna cook some wolf steak. We're gonna uh, have a little reward for killing those wolves. So I'm gonna make some wooden logs with this uh, or uh, firewood. It's called. No, I didn't. Um, I didn't actually do that. We'll, we'll see, maybe. <laughs> we'll see if they go bad. They didn't look like they went bad, though. Uh, it looked like they did okay. I mean, they look like they're doing all right. So, I... I'm assuming that uh, we don't have to uh, we don't have to clean it out. I did, I know I didn't do it from the last time from when I had gasoline in it. So where did my wooden logs go? Here's one. I don't know if there's another use for the plant material on that. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if there's another use for them or not. Uh, anything that I've looked up, uh, I've tried to, I've seen uh, when I've, when the show is about planting stuff, I, I haven't found anything for another use for it, but. All right, Misfits, we'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I don't. I was doing a lot of the farming, like like Misfit said. I was kind of the Johnny Appleseed spreading, spreading all over the place with the with my love on it. But uh, yeah, I I hadn't uh, I haven't done much cooking or uh, much planting and farming now since uh, since the new update. Just because there's so much, they usually have so much food around. And uh, I know, uh, like a lot of people, have problems uh, uh, getting getting food and stuff like that. So um, I think what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna I'm gonna have another character uh, start at the very beginning. I'm gonna have a a fresh spawn try to find food uh, video that just shows you know right off the bat trying to find food, you know, and uh, whether you're gonna survive or not. All right, uh, they are damp. Uh, the matches may not work for me. I might have to go and grab a different different set of matches. But I think I got to get my paper in here too. Did I should have collected some paper. I did, yes. So actually, I think I used paper last time. I'm gonna show you this time. I'm gonna show you. You can use. You can crap put rags in there. So we have our menu here. So you can put them right there. So you can put rags in there in order to start a fire. And I'm going to see if I have a lighter. Okay. 
I think the lighters are probably in this one. There's one. There's a lighter. We're going to use this lighter. And I was showing before, I was going to show a orienting compass, but we never did uh, find one. So I'm going to show you now, since I just saw one in my inventory here. I got the lighter in my hand. Okay. Here's the orienting compass. So orienting compass, you can hold it down, hold it in the first person. And it's a little bit easier to see than the other one. Um, I guess it's it's kind of shining a little bit, but you can you can see the red line there, and it and it holds it out. So you can see you can see which way red is. There we go. The sun. There we go. Sun changed. Now you can see it really good. So you can you can see it a lot better this way uh, with these orienting compasses. The other ones you kind of got to get. It's kind of tricky, and this one, this here, it's uh, it shows out a little bit better. And see the angle changes. You can see of how good you can see it with the light. You know, but there we go. All right, so let's go build this fire and get this wolf meat cooked so we can build some stuff. go so I believe those are the three sources for starting a fire um you know for for it to fully grow I'm not sure since the update um it seems to me now I, I planted this maybe 20 minutes ago or so and it looks like our first one is ready right here so let's i'm gonna make sure there's nothing in my in, in my hands oh there another one just turned ready so we can harvest it and and then there we go we get two pumpkins out of it and you can actually so the pumpkins um this one right here cool put this in my hands and you can use any sharp object actually I think you can even use a blunt object you just don't get as many of them with but you can use pretty much any uh, actual item I think see yeah you can even do it with a shovel but you you can uh, portion it off And you can see here, I got places, and it gives me seeds. So now I can plant more again. So uh, the pumpkin seeds do that. And uh, we'll take another one here. And, uh, where's our other pumpkin? There it is. We'll put this in the hands. Where was that knife again? There it is. So we'll combine, and it says prepare. Okay, so maybe with the pumpkins, uh, let's see. I'm going to drop this and see if I can. It might just prompt me to prepare any of the pumpkins like this. Yeah, okay, so any all the pumpkins are going to be prepared. But if you have a... Uh... <laughs> I just dropped my stupid knife. Jeez. Um... But if you have like a pepper or a zucchini or a tomato, uh, a, a food like that, what'll happen is uh, it'll prompt you to cut out seeds. So you can actually cut out seeds if, if you get in a pinch and you've got a garden plot, but you don't have any seeds, but you have a piece of ve uh, a, a vegetable piece. You can actually cut the seeds out, out of one and you'll get like 10, 15, and then you can plant more, you know, tons more.
And uh, I guess with the new update, the the time frame for these things to grow is different for every every plant. It's not the same anymore. So it used to be like the same. So you'd be able to you'd be able to plant them. And if it was raining out, you could plant it, and they would grow in maybe 15 minutes, and and be fully ready to uh, to harvest in like you know like I said like in 15 minutes. But uh, so now with this new update, everything is everything is different. So I think I think the pumpkins because they're the biggest, it takes the longest to grow. So maybe like the tomatoes probably wouldn't wouldn't take very long at all. So I'm gonna put this meat on the smoker. And the fat, um, the animal fat, take the animal fat too, because that animal fat is uh, really, really nutritious. It's really good to have them. So what I like to do is I like to smoke my meat because it lasts a lot longer. But you can sit here, you can watch it. <clears throat> Usually when you're smoking it, um, you don't really have to keep an eye on it as much as you do when you're baking it. Uh, baking it, it takes a bit. Uh, even even with this wolf meat, like I, I think I showed to everybody before uh, when I cooked that chicken. But you can put a piece of meat on there. And you really got to watch it because it goes quick. So if it's, you'll hear it start to sizzle. So then you'll know that it's cooking. But I'll, I'll show you again. I'll show people again here how fast it, when you're, when you're baking it, how fast it can cook to go good. And then I'll show you how fast it goes bad. So I'm not even going to touch it. I'm going to just... I'll I'll let you know when it okay it's good we'll be able to take it off of there from versus for what okay so now it's good that was pretty quick right it, it cooked and now watch how fast uh, it'll go bad it'll be burnt and I've never tried to eat it when it's burnt um see boom it went it went burnt quicker than it went to go baked so we're gonna we're gonna put that we're gonna get a little bit closer here we're gonna get that burnt one out, out of there and and so the nice thing is too when you're smoking it you can leave it on there for a little bit too it, it won't it, it may it may eventually go and get burnt I've never seen it get burnt yet but it might. I don't know. So we're going to collect this. These are all done. Do you see they're a little bit different color to them? And uh, when you hover over them, it'll, it'll tell you that it's dried. So that's what you want to look for. So we're going to cook up a little bit more here. And another thing with uh, with cooking these meat with these meats is uh, if it's a different meat like um, like the goats that you can hear in the background, <laughs> uh, they will be like the wolf meat isn't as nutritious as like um, a like a steak from a cow. You know they have cows in here too. You know and. Uh, You can you can uh, butcher those and get steaks out of those too. Um, elk, uh, the, the elk meat. So remember yesterday I was talking about the temperature, or yesterday maybe the day before even I can't remember uh, which it was, but remember I was talking about uh, getting too close to the fires. See see where my uh, 
my uh, thermometer is red now. So see where I'm start. You see I'm starting to lose health it's because I'm too hot. Watch if I back up a little bit here. See now, now it starts to go back to the yellow. And then back to the white real quick. Now, after a minute or two here, uh, my my bar will start going back to, uh, back up. So you, you, you typically find the lighters, Patty, you, you typically find the lighters at like um, gas stations in, in the in the little boxes for gas stations, or you can find them like in the towns. You can find them in some of the town buildings, uh, like the shops and stuff like that that are sitting around. Uh, I I believe you get sick, and uh, I mean I obviously I don't really want to get. Uh, I don't know that I want to uh, try to do that and get sick in here, but. Uh, Maybe what I'll do is I'll keep that burnt one on me, and uh, after I show some uh, base building stuff, maybe I'll maybe I'll eat that burnt one just for shits and giggles. See what happens. Usually, usually you should I should be able to uh, cure myself, but see there I went right back up into the red. So you got to be careful when you're taking stuff out of there because you got to be close to take the stuff out. But then you get super hot. See where I'm blinking now? See I'm blinking? That means I'm way too hot and I need to get the heck out of the way because I'm going to start losing health really fast. I'm basically burning myself. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> they always have sneakers or like a, a dress or something in there. Yeah. Um. It, that that part of it sucks, but uh, I, I I assure you that that um, they do they do spawn the lighters in there, and uh, I think the kiosks too. A lot of those kiosks. Um, I'm hope I hope you know what I'm talking about. The kiosks. It, it's those ones that that kind of they they're one little box sitting on their own, and then you go inside there. It looks like one of those vending, vending, like a vending uh, machine type, uh, not like a pop vending machine, but when, uh, like a vending store, you know, a person would sit in there and sell candy or uh, whatever type of stuff in there. Um, I call them kiosks just because they kind of look like a kiosk uh, out of a store. Yeah, like a yeah, it's yeah the vend like a vendor type. I'll, I'll drive by one real quick. Cause we're we're we'll take this truck and I'm gonna. Oh, I I forgot one thing. One thing we're gonna need. Hopefully, I got enough inventory on it. I I keep filling up inven with inventory stuff. Let's see if I got anything in here. So we're going to take a box of nails. I should have enough nails. Uh, I'm going to show a couple of things here. So, Yeah, see, I don't have enough. Dang it. Let's let's put that shovel back. Cause we, oh, we will need the shovel. Actually, I'll need a good shovel, too. So, I'll put that axe back. I'm going to switch shovels. This one looks a lot better. Alright. Oh, did I have two hatchets? I'm going to put a hatchet back in here. Alright, I guess I... Oh, 146, that's why. Put it in this other barrel. There we go. Take the hammer, and I also want to put the hatchet back, and then, okay, I got the hacksaw, we're going to take this one. 
All right. I think I get everything I want to use in order to explain things. I'm actually going to put this in here. Um, I think I have some garden lime. I'm going to show you that too while I'm at it. I think I got some garden lime in here. I do. Very nice. Very nice. All right, there we go. All right, we're going to put that in there. Too. Come on, go. See, <laughs> these things just don't have any power. Let's get, let's try a second here. There we go. Oh, oh, I, that's right. So I, I think I was just, uh, I went and found a couple of things that I wanted to use. Um, I went and found some uh, tools and stuff. And I was just kind of explaining where, I, what, what I was finding. Oh, there's all our goats. There's all our goats. Or are these sheep this time? No, yeah, they're sheep this time. Look at that. Run! Get out of the way! So I'm going to drive a little bit out of town. There. There we go. Here's one right here. I forgot this one was right here. There we go. I don't hear any uh, zombies. I think I'll be alright. Oh, who am I kidding? I can hear him right now. Oh yeah, here he comes. Get in the truck. Get in the truck. What? That guy looks like he's from the military. What, what the heck is he doing this far out there? Maybe he's just wearing a green hat and he looks like he's military. It's, like, it's kind of hard to run these guys over in this truck because... This thing moves so damn slow. Okay, so I, I did do a video. Um, that's how I got back up to this base. Uh, I did a video on on how I I had a car sitting there. And I was showing showing how to do that. I did do that. I think, um, day three and day four. I think maybe I was in that. Uh, but I'll go over it. I'll go over it when we get back there. I'll go over um, how to get a car running and how to do that. That way, that way you'll know how to do it. And since this guy is bugging the shit out of me. And I can't get him with, uh... It's just so hard to run him over with that truck. Ooh, don't hit my truck. Don't hit my truck. 
Dude, the gas tank there too. See all that? Oh, my gas tank is ruined. Oh, not good. Not good. I wonder why that's like that. So, anyways, so these are the this this is what I call a kiosk right here. This thing. I, I don't know. It's like a vending house or something. But yeah, I call them a kiosk. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, every once in a while. So some of them they have some of them that have the baskets down below. I think they're a little bit bigger than this, but they have the ladder on there. And uh, sometimes they'll have the lighters kind of sitting here, or they'll be sitting down in this, uh, in those boxes, or even uh, on the other side, down on the bottom. They're kind of hard to see sometimes. Oh, they might be able to. I've I've never really seen that happen. So, when you, when you're in the vehicle, the A button is to downshift, and B button is to upshift. Okay, and the right trigger starts the vehicle, and is the gas. So it's the gas. It's not like it's not like Grand Theft Auto, you know. It, it, and I always make this mistake because most of the car games, when you hit the the left trigger, that's usually reverse. That's not the case in this one. You gotta you gotta actually shift downshift into reverse, and then it's still the right trigger in order to move forward. So that's kind of that. It took me a while to figure that out too. And you don't want to redline it. If you redline it, uh, that will ruin the engine. And again, because I'm going past the police station, that's the police station. We'll just run over some of these zombies. One thing that's really nice about the... Uh, about having the, driving this truck, though, is its durability. You can usually drive over stuff that you can't drive uh, drive over in the cars. Like, you see this, uh, you can use, like with a car, you can't usually drive over that, that wall. Look at that, I'm just driving right over that, that little uh, gate or whatever you want to call it. See, I'm able to drive right over that. Usually you can't drive over that with a car. But those are the larger kiosks, I think. Uh, at least that one on the right is, I think, that blue one. Are they all? Yeah, I got them. Okay, I'm going to stop this quick, and I'm just going to try to look in there. Just to, to see. It'd be cool if I could find one in there, just so that I could show you that they do they do actually drop in here. <clears throat> but, yeah, like, sometimes in these boxes, they'll be in there. And it's just like a little blue sliver, so sometimes you really miss it. Uh, they'll be up here on this uh, counter, uh, sometimes up here, um, and then sometimes on this on the bottom, down in there, on that bottom rack, and then inside here too. Yeah. Oh, really? I've never noticed that. I've never noticed that. So sometimes on some of these servers, when they're boosted, uh, if you climb up here, sometimes they'll have weapons stored up top. I have never seen that on an official server or um, or a player server that is not boosted. But I'll hurry that. So Patty's saying that uh, that the zombies can damage the vehicle by running them over, and maybe by hitting them. And that may be so. I, I've never noticed it because I think, uh, you know, usually I got I got all the uh, coverings on it and stuff like that. So usually, I, and, and you can still drive it unless the actual engine itself is broken or uh, 
There's a few different parts I can't remember that if they get ruined, it makes it impossible to drive the car. But I, at the time right now, I can't remember exactly what they all are. But there's a little farm that's over here out of town. I'm going to try to hit that and see. I was looking at the chat. I almost, I almost hit that sign. <laughs> These truck, these big trucks like this drive pretty slow too. I think the top I've gotten it going before is like maybe almost 50 miles an hour. I think, and that was going downhill. <laughs> All right. So here's a little farm. I guess it ain't really a farm, it's just kind of a, maybe a fu future, uh, maybe a future building plot spot, I don't know. But we're gonna, we're gonna learn how to build a fence real quick here. We're gonna take out a log. You know what? I forgot to grab my sticks. I forgot to grab my sticks. Oh, let's see. Maybe we can do it with this. Alright. Oh, it says cut bark. I thought it was... Alright, so this is going to be a tree. Alright. <laughs> so uh, to to shift it you want to make sure you're you're in these vehicles you want to kind of get as close to the red line as you can before when you when you shift so that you're staying at a high especially if you're going uphill to stay in a higher rpm and then that way you'll you'll kind of gradual it in with the higher rpm to keep your keep it moving a little better um that's typically how you want to do that uh, you can you can shift it at any point, but if you're going uphill, uh, you're <laughs> you're gonna end up slowing down, you know, and stopping eventually. And uh, yeah, so I mean, starting out uh, in the cars, you can start out in first gear because. Um, you try skipping the gears and it, it, you'll still move, it'll still go, but it, it takes a while. It's so slow. <laughs> Jeez. I'm, I'm glad they didn't make it so the tree would kill you if it landed on top of you. All right. So what did I get? I got myself a long stick. Good, 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 good. All right. We're going to split this. So before I used uh, a sharp object to split it. I'm just going to use my hands this time. So you can split a long stick into short sticks by using your hands or a sharp object. Now I got three short sticks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these short sticks and I have three in my hands. I only need two, but I'm going to combine it and then now see it'll say uh, create a fence kit. Now. Uh, you can tap the R T. See, it says next recipe. I can also create a fence pole kit because I have three. If I had four sticks in my hand, I would be able to create a watchtower kit. But right now, for right now, we're going to craft a fence kit. The flagpole kit, uh, it's, you know, um, the mechanics are going to be basically the same. But, uh... <laughs> It's a lot. There's a lot of rocks you have to use. I did drop that other stick right there. Um, there's a lot of rocks that you have to use and a lot of logs, so it takes quite a bit. Uh, I would it would it would take me probably an hour or two to get get through that one maybe. 
Just because you have to run and find the rocks. And then you have to get the material, uh, you know, some of the materials to get it too. So what we're going to do now is we're going to craft. We have the fence kit in our hands. We created that. So if nothing really, nothing really is the difference. Uh, Patty's asking what the difference is between using your hands or a sharp object. Uh, there isn't. I I haven't seen a difference uh, very much. The only difference would be I think if you don't have the gloves on, I think you take a chance of cutting your hands up a little bit. And then if you, obviously if you use the sharp object, it doesn't uh, it doesn't cut your hands at all. So back to the fence here, uh, we, we have, now you want to choose your placement. See right now it won't allow you to place it, it, it kind of went transparent. So when you find, find where you want to put it, and we'll say we're going to put it right here. Now we're going to hold that in, we're going to hold our right trigger in, and we're going to build a fence kit, or we're going to build a, a fence plot. See now it'll say fence. And it'll prompt, if you put it and then you're like, ah, oh, God, I don't really want it right there. You can actually fold it back up. You can, you can hover on it and you can fold it back into your hands to place it. So now we're going to take a wooden log here. And the one thing with the fence too, actually, I'm going to show you that quick before I do this. Because this is something that I, I had just learned and I wasn't, uh, I haven't done it very often, so it, I, I forgot a little bit about it. See, have it in our hands. So, now, when it's when you're facing it like this, that means that the inside the building section is on your side. So, if you're building a a base, you want you want the outside to be away from you, right? So you can use, let's see. There it is. So if you go up on the D-pad, you can actually turn this clockwise. And now see, now it's facing the other way on me. So I'm actually, I'm actually backwards from usual. So if you're trying to change that around, keep an eye on that because what will happen is when you build that and then you, you set that fence up, if that's on the outside of your your camp, people will be able to come right up to it and, and dismantle it on you. And so you want to make sure that you have it sitting the correct way. So we're going to set this down. We're going to set this at this point. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Because now, uh, once you put the item in your hands. So now this would have been, this would have been the front, right? See how it's not letting me attach it? Because that should be the outside of the fence. Watch when I walk around to the other side. See, now, I, <laughs> it's hard for me to see that rope. I think I'm, there we go. There we go. There it is. Now I see it. Now you can attach it. See? So now you attach it, and now you see the base. So we, we need one more log. So it's going to take two logs to get a base started. And by base is uh, on, on this we're, for the building, they mean the base of the, the item that you're building. They don't mean a base like you're building the base. They they want you to. So now this, uh, I think at one point it used to be just the shovel, but I believe now you can use a shovel and a pickaxe. So you want to get your shovel out, and then it'll prompt you to build the base. So we're gonna build the base. There we go. 
So now our base is built. We're going to put the shovel back in our inventory. And, and look at this. The fence kit is reusable. So that's fantastic, right? I'm going to put this in my hands, and I'm going to actually run it over to the truck here. <clears throat> I don't really need that in the inventory at this point, and I don't exactly need my shovel There we go. So now what I'm going to want to do, I'm going to take another wooden log out. And so you're not going to be able to attach the wooden log to it because you really don't need the wooden log for that anymore. Now what you need is planks. So I'm going to teach you how to make some planks out of this wooden log. So you can take a sh the saw, the hand saw, and you can... You can see, it, it prompts it, you can, if you can see that on there, on the screen, it says, craft wooden plank. Next recipe will say, saw a wooden log. So that's going to turn it into firewood if you saw the wooden log. Remember, remember when we had the hatchet, it did that? So we're going to change the recipe. We want to craft wooden planks. So let's saw these logs into wooden planks. So now, look at that. We got four wooden planks we got out of a log by using the handsaw. Now we're going to want to attach it. So now remember what I was saying, and I'm going to just show you again. If you're facing the outside of it, you're not, a, you're not allowed to attach it. See how I can't attach? You have to be on the inside of the fence, on the building side, and then you can attach it. Because if it's on the opposite side... Of course, what do we know? We know that, that that person is able to get a hold of the fence area and they would be able to deconstruct it if that was the case. They could just pull that stuff out of there. And obviously we don't want people doing that, do we? So we're going to get another log. I'm going to drop that. And I'm actually going to drop a couple, a couple of these logs. We can drop it any time now, right? <laughs> what the heck? Really? It doesn't. It doesn't want me to drop it. <laughs> it doesn't want me to drop. It. No, I can't even put it back. Um. All right. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh well, I can combine. Let's let's combine it then. Well, thank God we can get out of that predicament. I was hoping I wouldn't have to restart the stream again. That that kind of frustrated me. There we go. All right, let's put this in our hands. Uh, we're gonna attach more. And let's, this time, let's use, oh wait, that's right, I put that in the truck, didn't I? There it is. So the hacksaw, We now we can use the hacksaw also. So you can use the hacksaw or the handsaw in order to cut planks. Now, every time you use uh, this hacksaw or the handsaw, every time you craft planks like that, it does go against the durability of the item. So you kind of want to keep an eye on that. Because otherwise you'll be out in the middle of nowhere and you'll be trying to cut some planks and then all of a sudden your saw will be ruined and you won't know what to do. You'll have to take off going on a mission just to find another saw. We're going to take this one in our hands, and then I am going to go into the inventory like this, and I'm going to combine those two. So now I have eight planks in my hand. So you can carry up to the, you know, ten is the max that it, that it, that 
they uh, allow in a, com a combined state. So you can carry up to 10 planks in your hands. And to do that, you just combine them. It, it, that's exactly it. Y you would be screwed if you didn't have the saw. So they are important for ba base building. That's why a lot of people, you know, they collect they collect those quite a bit. All right. So now I am going to find my There they are. My nails right there. So this is a box of nails. So what you do is you put them in your hand and then you can hold the art right trigger button, see it prompted in the bottom left. So now we have 70 nails in our hands. And look, at those box nails also drop uh, paper after you open them up. So you want to collect that because you can use that for uh, building a fire, you know. So we're going to attach the... Huh, okay, I see. So we're going to attach the attach it to the fence. See, I was hovering. So I'm going to show you that too after I do this. Uh, see, it says craft a wooden crate. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I said, uh, told, talked about that uh, a few days ago. Uh, talked about building a wooden crate. So we're going to attach that. And then you can use either a hammer... Or you can use the hatchet. Um, most people prefer to use the hammer, obviously, because that's what it's for. Because the hatchet you can use for multiple different things. So you want to try to keep those as pristine as you can. But if you're in a pinch, you don't you ran out of hammers, go ahead and use that hatchet. You can use it. Uh, I'll actually I'll show you even here. We're gonna use the hatchet and we're gonna build the lower frame. There we go. And now see, and it prompts, the, they prompted other parts to be able to build too, but it'll prompt you. Uh, you can click through it. It says build the upper frame, build the platform, uh, build a lower wooden wall. So I think what we'll do is we will build the upper frame. And remember, we're using a hatchet to build this, right? So now we're gonna we're gonna switch, and that does count against the durability of the hatchet, and it in a it it goes pretty quick too, so that's why people like to use the hammers instead of the hatchets. So we're gonna build the upper wooden wall because it's prompting us for that, and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get those three sheets of metal that are sitting in there, and I'm gonna build the lower metal wall for you. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have put that back in the inventory first. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I know. I would have had to... Yeah, sorry, Patty Ruler. I, I, I misunderstood you. But, yeah, you're right. I would have had to restart the... I already had to restart the, the stream. Uh, did you catch me earlier on? Oh, man. I went to get into the car, and it just... Whole Screen went black on me. I could do nothing. All right. Really? It's not letting me pull this out? That's interesting. Oh, now I can do that. Ha! Well, I can pull it out of the back. Holy buckets, I'm running with this. Usually you can't... Usually you don't go that fast with it. This is very strange. I'm enjoying this. I still can't dash with it, but. Sorry, I was just enjoying that because usually that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course you're going to be like that. And of course you're going to be like that. <laughs> ha 
<laughs> oh, there it is. There it goes. Okay, so this is this is what? So usually that's how you you carry it. I don't know why it's There. I'll try splitting these. I don't know. Not letting me. Oh my goodness. You got to be kidding me, right? Can I at least put it back? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's glitched like the log. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. I had to turn around and I had to log out and log back in. So now what am I going to do? I'm going to have to log out and log back in again. This is really unfortunate. Oh boy. I'm sorry. Alright, stick with me, buddy. Uh, I'm going to have to exit out here. and uh, I have to pause it. Um, I'm going to have to pause the stream. I, I got I to gotta end the stream and then I got to restart it again. Um... This server is a private server, so I, I don't want to uh, disrespect my friend by showing the password uh, as I'm as I'm going on here. So uh, I'll have to stop the stream and then I'll start it back up when I log back in. I apologize, I, but I I, I want to keep my the respect of my friend. Uh, so I will.